Hello friends, today we are going to see how to reverse an array without using extra space. So let's see. So this is the array. The array can be an array of integers or it can be an array of characters. This array of characters can also be called as string if we append a null character. So if we want to reverse an array of integers or a string or an array of characters without using extra space, then how to do it? See, we know a method by using extra space. Suppose you want to reverse this array, then you can use another memory and you can just put all the elements from the end of the array in the new array like g, f, e, d and so on up to a. So this will be the reverse. But here we are using the extra space. So we are going to see now how to reverse this array with using this same array. So we are going to use the same array to reverse itself. So how to do that? So now I will explain you the method. You have to take two pointers. The first pointer is S that is start and the second pointer is end. Start will point to the zeroth index and end will point to the last index. Here the last index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. See the size of the array is n is equal to 8. So the last index is n minus 1 is the last index. So S is pointing to 0, E is pointing to 7. Here we are going to use an operation that is swap. We are going to swap the elements in the array. So first of all swap the starting element and the end element. So 1 and 8. So 8 comes here and 1 comes here. Now, after swapping, s is equal to s plus 1, increment s and decrement e. So, e is equal to e minus 1. So, e will be decremented. So, s is pointing to the next position and e is now pointing to the backward next position, that is sixth index. So, now, swap 2 and 7. So, here it will come 7 and here 2. Now again increment s, so s will come here and decrement e, so e will come here. Now 3 and 6, so swap, so it will be 6 and 3. Increment s and decrement e. Okay, now 5 will come here and 4 will come here, they will be swap. Okay, now, now S will be incremented and E will be decremented. Here, S will be 4 and E will be 3. So, our breaking condition is that when S is greater than E, we will break the loop. We will break the code. So, let's see the program here. This is the program and I will execute this program on this second array so that you can better understand. So let's reverse this second array of characters. So S is pointing to 0th position, E is pointing to N minus 1 position. So S and E. C. Why S is less than E? So Till S is less than E, we have to do these steps. So, swap array of S, comma array of E. So, we will swap these two positions. So, G will come here and A will go there. The G came here and A went there. Now, S is equal to S plus 1, E is equal to E minus 1. So, S will come here and E will be decremented at this position. Now B and F, 
they will be swapped f and b again s will be incremented e will be decremented now um, c will come here and e will come here c and e now s will be incremented and e will be decremented so s and e both point to the same position and our breaking condition is s is less than e but now s became equal to e so we will break from this my loop and we will come out of the loop yes and the final array which we get is the reversed array this is also the reversed array so this is how we reverse an array without using extra space see we didn't use any extra space here we used that same array hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you